Hey, David King here. I'm still in my car. I am making this video with a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II camera. It's, it's just a point and shoot camera. Here it is. I think you can see it okay. The nice thing about this camera is that it takes really uh, good quality video, has that pop-up screen so I can see what's going on. Um, it's sort of a selfie mode pop-up screen. I, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, it works which is why I'm often staring at the screen instead of the lens, because I can see it. And it's got really nice quality audio, which that's what I wanted to show you. So this is me talking in a fairly controlled environment. No, I guess I shouldn't say it, it's a controlled environment, but I'm in my car, got the windows up, so there's not a lot of wind noise. The, it's, the camera's probably a foot and a half or so from, from my mouth. Probably in the post-processing of this video, I will boost the audio up a little bit um, to get it. I, I like, so I use Final Cut Pro when I'm editing video and I like the audio to be as loud as possible. So I'll have it just under um, turning yellow and red, if you know what I'm talking about with when you mess with audio. If you go up too high, it'll start distorting and get into the red and send you nasty little signal saying, you're gonna distort. I like to keep it right under that. So if you are listening to the video on your phone or on a computer at work and you have the volume, you know, cranked up just a little bit, you know, not, not really loud, you'll still actually hear me talking. That's always my goal for videos I make at the library or my own thing, so audio is really important. And this camera, surprisingly, does a really good job. I recorded my drums with it, just I didn't set up microphones, I just recorded some drums, uh, put that on Instagram. It did a good job of that too. So surprisingly, for such a small little camera, it, it's pretty handy little thing. So I don't personally own a big DSLR and lots of different lenses. I have access to them as a library, but I have my phone and I've got some lenses for it and some microphones for it. I have some external microphones that I could plug in and then do a post-processing combination of the audio and this video. But sometimes I don't want to do that um, in those cases. I could just whip out this Canon camera and make a quick little video. What do I like about the camera? Well, I like the pop-up screen so I can see if my head is framed okay or if I'm leaning to the side too much. It does a pretty good job at auto-focusing. Some DSLR lenses do a good job at that, some don't. Uh, but this is doing, as you can see, a really good job. So far, I'm happy with the camera. I've made a few videos with it. I'm planning on making some more videos this year, so we'll see how that goes. So far, I've been pretty happy with the quality and the ease of use of this camera. And, you know, the fact that it's small, can fit in my pocket, but takes a little better video than my iPhone. I don't have to have all those files on my phone get a little better audio quality. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it. It's a fun new toy. Talk to you later. Why am I wearing my stupid reading glasses? My kids told me, this looks old, this looks cool.